Magiging mahigpit na labanan na naman para sa Southwest Division title ng NBA. Lalo na at nag- nakapag-reload na ang Houston Rockets itong off-season. Nandiyan pa rin ang old reliables ng San Antonio Spurs, ang Twin Towers ng New Orleans Pelicans at ang grit and grind naman ng Memphis Grizzlies. At youth movement sa Dallas. Let's talk about the Southwest Division with basketball analyst Christian Duanzon. Chris, welcome back to the show. Thanks for joining us. Good evening. Two hooker today. Okay, uh, just a few days away before the start of the NBA and the zoning on this uh, Southwest Conference. Uh, these five teams you mentioned, yung iba dyan, marami na wala ng stars na yeah. medyo challenging iba dyan, man, transition from old to the new. Let's yeah. talk about Memphis first. This is one team that uh, they've let go of two key veterans. Yeah. I wonder how much it'll affect them. Nawala na doon si Zach Randolph and si Vince Carter. Yeah. How different will Memphis look this year? Well, I think uh, there'll be a different team in a sense na uh, number one, leadership and locker room presence. Mm-hmm. No? Uh, obviously, yung magiging significant loss in yep. terms of uh, yung th- those two that you mentioned. Mm-mm. But I'm confident, and uh, I've always like uh, they have a young fiery coach in uh, David Fisdale. David Fisdale, yeah. you know, he's obviously a guy that has a lot of you know championship experience yep. under the Miami Heat, mm-hmm. under Coach Spo, yep. you know Coach Pat, and you know. But they have key additions in Tyreek Evans and Ben Malcolm Malcolm Moore. So with yeah. the loss of you know Zebo and Vince Carter. They gain a lot of athleticism as well. And the youth, correct. And it's funny for me to say that because Vince Carter is 40. I know, but he's, but still, he's still athletic. athletic. <laughs> he's still half man. Sino <laughs> inggit? <laughs> so we can pretty much correct. relate. But they become more athletic. You know, they add more depth to the to the backcourt. Mm. But how much pressure is there now on Conley to live up to all the money? Lakalakan ng kontrata niya, di ba? Well, I think last year he lived up to the yep. to the pressure, mm. especially coming off uh, an injury. Correct, correct. Oh. But. You talk about, I, I see this team pretty much like, like a uh, Utah Jazz team, okay. an old school Utah Jazz team. Mm. We're in Stockton and Malone. Mm, pwede, and pwede then, ba, yeah. you know, Gasol is, you know, he's seven feet, he's multi skilled. If, if he stays healthy, could be Obviously, solid if, here, he, yeah. if he stays healthy. But, yep. you know, Mike Conley, I can't believe he's still underrated. Yep, you know, unfortunately. Uh, and dami kasing magagaling na guards. So, but he's got to be up there, no? I but uh, if he was, you know, he's, he's clearly a top five mm-hmm. point guard. But yun yeah, with all the lists there, maybe four ahead of him. Yeah, he's really good. Chris Paul, mga Steph Curry, Kyrie, all that. Okay, um, that is Mavericks. You know, some people thought uh, Dirk was gonna say goodbye, and then uh, another Besides year an for him. Yeah. Uh, and you know, they've already prepared for his departure. They added Harrison Barnes. They mm-hmm. uh, they they really looked forward to the future, and uh, they got a good draft pick. Uh, I don't see Jr. Dennis Smith Jr. and that, that looks to be the new guard there and then mm-hmm. they've learned so well. Uh, how do you see the, the Mavericks moving forward and can they still make some playoff pushes here with the with, with, uh, key young and key veteran pieces there? For the playoff push, I don't think so. Okay. Because you talk about a team that's arguably the, the quietest team mm-hmm. in the offseason. Right. No notable, uh, notable additions. Mm-hmm. Uh, to let me de- uh, uh, aside from Dennis Smith Jr. who who came from the draft, yep. he's obviously a big steal. Mm-hmm. But you know they still have Harrison Barnes who came out uh, who had a breakout season last year. You know upped his average from mm-hmm. Golden State to there being the main man. I think Nerlens Noel will play a significant part this year. Mm-hmm. You know last year medyo na sa parang kapa mode pa siya. Right. But you know, but this year with with more, what one year of experience already with the team. Let's not forget, he was a former number one draft pick. Right, right. And in, yeah. I think they're trying to build him like a Tyson Chandler mirror or mm, something like yeah. that. But you know, Dirk. Uh, alam naman natin, uh, although at what 38, 39. I think he's like 59. <laughs> Diba? Solid pa rin, diba? But with that stroke, yeah, I mean, yep. and at seven feet, correct, yep. Diba? He, playing his minutes all throughout the season, which R- Rick Carlisle is a mm. master of, mm-hmm. but I don't think they're gonna make a play, the, the playoffs. But it'll still be fun to watch, and for the Mavs fans out there, it's it's especially it's with a, Dennis Smith, it's yeah. a fun rebuilding phase for them. Yeah. Okay, uh, the uh, New Orleans Pelicans, man, some people foresee them as a possible push to make the playoffs. They. Mm-hmm. Uh, this is the first time we're gonna see that there was a whole off-season of preparation mm-hmm. for the Twin Towers. See, Anthony Davis and DeMarcus Cousins, who remember this happened right after All-Star Weekend, which is so funny that DeMarcus is so shocked <laughs> na nalaman niya through the media. He was getting a post-All-Star Game interview yeah. and bumubulong sa kanya. Napangiti na lang siya, no? And, but uh, it was an interesting second half of the season to see them try to work uh-huh. things out with him, him and AD. Can they really play good music together? And now that they have some yeah. interesting guards, uh, Tony Allen and Rajon Rondo. 
to your all-star point. Mm -hmm. That's the last thing that's gonna happen though, mm -hmm. because ngayon nag-reformat na in terms of the trade deadline. Correct, correct. It's gonna be, I think, before Hindi the all-star. Oh. Yeah, before the all-star break. Right, right. So, shani huling mga maalala natin. <laughs> but you know, <laughs> go, go, after, going huh? back to your statement, no, regarding sa, you know, contrary to to a popular opinion. Mm. Because teams nowadays, you know, the gold standard is the Warriors. In small diba? ball. In it's small ball stretch eh. oh, But, you know, come to think of it, these two, Anthony Davis and the Marcus Cousins, mm -hmm. they can shoot the three they too. Yeah. Yeah. No? And they're Multi letting them shoot. Yeah, yeah they, mm -hmm. they can put the ball on the deck. From the perimeter, yeah. yeah. Right. And yeah. Then I think it's going to be interesting to see as the season goes along, mm -hmm. you know, of the perimeter shooting that they put around them. Mm -hmm. You know, they, they got Ray John Rondo. Right. And they lost Solomon Hill, right. key guy, but they added, you know, defensive guys, Ray John Rondo, a playmaker, and mm -hmm. Tony and Allen. Allen yep. But it'll be interesting to see how that, you know, two guard mm -hmm. uh, blends in with Holiday at the two, right. Rondo at the one. You know, we don't know if, you know, Rondo's going to start. Now, yeah. But for sure, mm -hmm. during the course of the game or, or all throughout the season, you know, magiging two guard combination right. yan, di ba? So, tingnan natin kung sino ma-pick up nilang you know, shooters with the trades or maybe a sign up. Parang they're one or two good pieces away to really making a level up, di ba? Na I think they, they're, they're they'll there. be good this yeah. uh, this season. They they can be better maybe before or after the trade deadline. We will see. We'll see what happens with the Pelicans. Okay, the top two big teams in this division that a lot of people have them as even title contenders, Shempre. San Antonio Spurs last year, uh, unfortunate ending to their season with Kawhi Leonard getting injured Zaja Pachulia. Uh, by Zsa Pachulia, <laughs> who will forever deny <laughs> that he had any hand or foot in it. <laughs> okay, but uh, um, still, Videos you know, <laughs> Greg Popovich is such a master of, of making a great team out of uh, what some people may say, you know, not superstar talent, diba? Mm -hmm. uh, and he's, he's got another year of maturity with uh, Kawhi and LaMarcus Aldridge leading the core. Mm -hmm. uh, Manu's back, Tony mm -hmm. Parker's still there. Uh, how do you see this Spurs team transitioning? And DeZante Murray as well improved a lot this last, last season. It's just hard to predict the Spurs mm -hmm. if, if you're a typical basketball fan na doesn't know or not or that is not familiar with the history of this team right Kasi isipin mo, on paper if you look at their team on paper year in and year out uh, spurs uh, six seven Correct. they end but up being top the top, two, top, two, three, top yeah. two teams right. they end up in the western conference finals mm -hmm. in the finals winning a championship yep so it says a lot about obviously the legendary coach in, in coach pop mm -hmm. but you know key additions it'll be interesting to see how rudy gay plays especially mm -hmm. after a torn achilles yep. you know it's a, a really serious injury um, I think uh, he, he will be able to contribute to that team, but not in a sense the way he played, especially his stretch in, um, in Memphis. Right. Um, the last team he played for, uh, he got traded from the Kings, mm -hmm. but the problem with that, with the Kings, you know, they were pretty much a losing team. Mm -hmm. When you're a losing team, you don't get you have, yeah, so much. And your motivation to play hard, it's enough, different. It's different. Right yeah, now, yes, yes. you, you know. There. You, he was the guy in the Kings, yeah. or second guy next to the yeah. Marcos. Right. Alam naman natin si Stemani, Coach Pop. Nobody's the guy, you know. Yep, yep. Although we all know it's Kawhi. It's Kawhi. Yeah. It's Kawhi. But you know, it's really the system. It'd be interesting to see how he fits in. But I think defensively, mm -hmm. it's an advantage for him with his length. Right. Exactly. Okay. Uh, and then the biggest noisemaker, probably obviously in the offseason in this division, obviously the Houston Rockets scoring CP3. Mm -hmm. uh, but still, it's 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 a big mystery to everybody. How will he play well with James Harden, who played point guard last mm -hmm. year? So this is obviously going to be a two-guard setup. They've, they've obviously been playing so much during the summer. There's so much videos of them playing pickup ball everywhere mm -hmm. they went uh, together. So they're trying to harness that chemistry already. But how can uh, the wizard of Mike D'Antoni make this work? That's the biggest question mm -hmm. that everybody's asking. We all know that you know, both are you know, ball-dominant ball yeah, ball yeah, ball yeah. players. But, you know, after seeing their first preseason game this morning mm -hmm. you know, against the Thunder, um, alam naman natin preseason, medyo, medyo petik pa mga yep, player, yep, yep. you know, coaches are managing their minutes. Mm -hmm. You know, they started the game, and then you would see in the second or third rotation of the substitution pattern mm -hmm. ni Coach Mike, he would leave James there, mm -hmm. Chris Paul would be on the bench, mm -hmm. and then so there vice versa. Yeah, yeah. So. I think all throughout an 82-game season, Medyo magiging ganon. Mm -hmm. And then pagdating ng fourth, fourth quarter, fourth quarter you know, when it's clutch time, 
I still think James Harden is going to be the one to have the ball more. Okay. 60 40, I would say. Mm -hmm. You know, Chris Paul has. The good thing about Chris Paul, he's a smart player. Yep. He's a defender. You know, although they lose a lot on defense with mm -hmm. losing, you know, Pat Be Beverly. Pat Beverly, yep, yep. But Chris Paul has been a smart defender. Um, and then he's improved his, his shooting also. Right, right. So, Sigurado, si James Harden, with that size and slashing ability, he's going to benefit from that. The pieces around them, though, are they enough to really make them a contender against the Warriors? Right now, when Melo moved over to the Thunder, parang mm -hmm. consensus ng Karamiana, it's going to be the, the Thunder that are going to threat uh, yeah. the Warriors in the West Finals potentially. But what do you see around these two guys in Houston? Are they enough? to reach that level to say, okay, uh, it's our turn to th threaten the Warriors in the finals. On that point, no, I think not only for Houston, but all the teams in the NBA, mm -hmm. you know, it's hard to, uh, to reach the standard of Golden State, not yeah, only now, because yeah. of the talent they mm -hmm. have, because how they play unselfishly. Super, yep. And then they use that un unselfishness, you know, with the math, with the three ball. Yep. Diba? Yep. So, yung iba unselfish teams naman, like mm -hmm. the Spurs, right. but they don't shoot the three like the Warriors. Right. Houston has a chance with that. You know, last they year, they, volume of threes. they, they, yep, they were they were one of the teams. Today, who, they had 24 I think they threes. led the league, actually, yeah. or maybe they're... Three-point attempts, yeah. Uh, Rockets and the Warriors were mm -hmm. neck and neck in terms of yep. that category. Yep, yep. You know, but the issue with Houston last year was their defense. Right. Um, Eric Gordon's going to be a key. Mm -hmm. He was healthy last year. That was a big question. Mm -hmm. And then this year, you know, after winning six man of the year, he's going to be a key piece to that. Right, I expect right. Clint Capella to have a breakout season. Yeah. So especially with uh, that, that center position mm -hmm. wherein they play a, you know, four out, one in, mm -hmm. him being on the rim roll and being the recipient of Chris Paul right. and uh, James Harden, I expect him to have a good season. Pressure and Coach Mike, it's been a while since he's had a contender in his hands. Uh, we've, we've had so much fun seeing him when we were growing up watching the Phoenix Suns right. and all that. Amari, uh, Nash. And, and is this it? This is, this is time for him to show that he can bring this team at least very far, not maybe not necessarily to win it all. Well, he's matured compared to his, uh, especially on the defensive side. Yeah. Compared to the teams he he had with uh, with Phoenix. Yep. Well, first of all, especially acquiring Chris Paul, mm -hmm. you, you don't only get a point guard uh, that can distribute and score. You get a guy who is hard nosed on, on right. the defensive end as well. You know, James Harden, uh, he's improved. You know, compared to the mm -hmm. videos we've seen in the last <laughs> the past, few yep. seasons. Uh -huh. But last year, I thought, at least. He was there in front of the Kaito offensive Pano. player. Yeah, yeah. You know? <laughs> but, um, but we'll see. Maybe with, with, with Chris Paul, he could yeah. knock some sense. In the, if there's anybody who can maybe shout at James and say, hey, it's going to be Chris Paul. Play some D. Especially it's going to be Chris point Paul. Guard. Yeah. Ah, yun na nga eh. So that should be very fun to watch. Konting hintay na lang. Magkisimula na ang NBA. So that is our look at this Southwest Division. Chris, maraming salamat. We'll see you again soon. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. For more sports updates, keep watching The Score. And don't forget to subscribe.